Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating step-by-step -step installation and deployment of Cacti, the complete RRD tool-based graphicking solution on Ubuntu 16.04. Now before we proceed with the installation of Cacti on Ubuntu 16.04, let us first of all get ourselves aware regarding some introduction of Cacti and some of the features of Cacti Graphical Solution Tool. Cacti is an open source web based monitoring and graphicking tool designed as a front end application for the open source industry standard data logging tool RRD tool. Cacti allows a user to poll services at predetermined intervals and graph the resulting data. It is generally used to graph time series data of matrices such as CPU load and network bandwidth utilization. A common usage is to monitor network traffic by polling a network switch or router interface via simple network management protocol that is SNMP. The front end can handle multiple users each with their own graph sets so it is sometimes used by web hosting providers especially dedicated server, comma, virtual private server and collocation providers to display bandwidth statistics for their customers. It can be used to configure the data collection itself allowing certain setups to be monitored without any manual configuration of RRD tool. Cacti can be extended to monitor any source via shell scripts and executables. Cacti can be used of one of the two backends that is cmd.php, a PHP script suitable for smaller installations or Spine, formerly Cactit, a C based polar which can scale to thousand of host. Now this is called a brief introduction of Cacti. Now you can, uh, if you if you can uh, see the website that is called Cacti.net, you can find the latest stable release is version 0.8.8H, which was launched on May 8, 2016, about 28 days ago. It is written purely into PHP and MySQL. It is cross-platform, which means it can be installed on Linux, Windows, Solaris, and even Macintosh. The developer is Cacti Group, and the initial release was done on September 23, 2001, about 14 years years ago. So let us talk of some of the features. The following are the features of Cacti, unlimited graph items, auto padding support for graphs, graph data manipulation, flexible data sources, data gathering on a non-standard time span, custom data gathering scripts, built-in SNMP support, graph templates, data source templates, host templates, tree list, comma, preview views of graph data, user-based management and security. On the website you can find all the complete solution of Cacti over here and you can even contribute your own personal code on Cacti and you can even get support for your any problems from Cacti. You can find all the information over here. So now let us start our virtual machine that is Ubuntu 16.04 and let us start with the installation part of Cacti. So you can see I've already logged in into my Ubuntu 16.04 and all these steps are written over here. So all these steps are available downstairs so that you will not find any problem of installation and deployment of Cacti after watching this video on your own private or professional server. So let us first of all log in with root. So with the command su space minus and let me give the password so the root has been logged in. So the first command is to update the repository. So let us type this command apt hyphen get update. So after the update is done, done, we have to install the LAMP package. LAMP stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP which is the prerequisite for the Cacti because I've already told you the Cacti package is already written into PHP and MySQL so these two are the predetermined and required packages for Cacti. But before installing the LAMP packages, please do note that Cacti doesn't support MySQL Server 5.7 as yet because the latest version is 5.7 so we have to add MySQL 5.6 by adding this following repository. So let us start and add the following repository by issuing the second command into this video by Ubuntu Trusty Universe. So let us paste this command and now what we have to do is to apt hyphen get update so that we can update the repositories. Now after doing this, we have to install the dependencies that is Apache Web Server, MySQL 5.6, PHP and libphp mod PHP. So let me copy this and let me paste it. So you can see that it has added the repository and now it is crawling to update the repository package. Now you can see that all the latest packages of the trusty Tahir of version of Ubuntu is being integrated into it. First were five packages, now we can add more than eight to nine packages. So it is updating. Let's wait for a couple of seconds. Yes. 
So now you can see that the system has been properly updated and now it is fully ready to install the dependencies and after that we will be starting the next part of this video. So let me clear this and now let us paste and install the LAMP package into our server. You can find that it is about 25.7 MB. All these packages will be updated and all the additional packages will also be installed. So let us press Y and press enter. So after the installation of the LAMP package, we have to configure MySQL and make it sure everyone that what we are doing is do doing the downgrade part of MySQL that is version 5.6. We are not using 5.7 because 5.7 is not supported by Cacti as such. So you can see that the packages of MySQL client core and all these packages are being downloaded. So it will take some time, a couple of seconds, might be about a minute depending on your net connection speed. So MySQL server core is being downloaded now. So after the download, it will be unpacking and it will be configuring the LAMP package into this machine. So Cacti, uh, let me tell you that uh, it is very important to have Cacti for the network monitoring, even for the server administration. So I always recommend all the systems administrators and even the researchers who are doing research into network security or network communications that to do use the Cacti tool as a very good monitoring, network monitoring software. And the most important, it is open source. It is uh, available free of cost. So now you can see that it is uh, demanding me some password for MySQL. So let me give the password and let me repeat the password. Because MySQL is itself a server, so in order to access the server, we have to provide the root username and the root password for MySQL. So after this, we will be configuring MySQL by issuing this command that is MySQL minus U root minus P. So make it sure, otherwise you will find some error into the Cacti installations. So it is setting up the MySQL server and now it is starting some, uh, you can say some uh, architecture based commands. Now it is setting up the PHP, that is version 7, which is latest. As you can see that it is configuring every file with the new version. Now some library files are there. Now the Apache web server is being installed. Now you can see that Apache and PHP have been merged up properly. Yes. So now let us issue this command mysql space minus u root space minus p. So let us give the password. Now you can find that it is giving some error. Because why it is giving the error? Because we have to start the service. So we have to give the command that is service mysql restart. So we have to wait for the service to start. So now let us issue this command mysql minus u root space minus p. So now you can see that it has started the connection and now we are ready to install SNMP, SNMPD and RRD tools. Make it sure, otherwise you will find errors into Cacti installation. So let us exit this, so which means that we have already started and we have configured and installed MySQL in a proper manner. So now what we have to do is to install SNMP, SNMP tool and RRD tools. So let us issue this command. Let me copy this and after that we will be finishing with the prerequisite part and we will be all set to install Cacti. So it is about 798 KB of archives. So let us press Y and press enter. So now what we have to do is to install Cacti on Ubuntu. So we have to issue these two packages that is apt-get install Cacti and Cacti spine. And after that I will be telling you how to configure Cacti. So very simple, a very powerful tool and a must do tool and very easy to configure. So follow steps. I always say in my videos that if you follow all these steps, you will find no problem in any configuration. So let me paste it and let me press enter. So you can see it is about a 4.2 MB of size and it will be taking about 15 MB of disk space. So let me press Y and press enter. With this command, we will be installing Cacti and configuring Cacti on our server. 
so in the middle of it you will be asked you will be asked some dialog boxes regarding configuring cacti so you have to select some options so all these options are listed over in my text file but i will be showing you in the live version Yes, so now you can see that please select a web server for the Cacti should be automatically configured because I have already told you that it is configured into PHP and MySQL and for the front end we will be only using Apache web server so Apache 2 will be there. So let us uh, press enter over Apache 2 and press enter. Now it will uh, be asking you for some root password for Cacti which will be the default password when we go for the web administration. Yes, so configure uh, Cacti with this. So let us press enter itself. And now it will be asking for the application password for Cacti. So now let us set the password and repeat the password. Now you can see that the database has been accessed and it is a success. So make it sure when uh, when you uh, pre-configure Cacti, make it sure that you logged into MySQL and the service of MySQL should be properly running. So now what we have to do is to restart these following services. So let us restart the following services. So let us uh, start the service that is service MySQL restart and the final service that is Apache 2 so that everything gets merged up. So now the final step is to open the web browser and let us start with the Cacti web installation. So let us copy, uh, let us have the IP address of this machine. So IP address is 192.168.117.148. So let us uh, open to my main web browser that is http 192.168.117.148 slash cacti. Yes, so now you can see that the cacti installation guide has started. So let us press next. So new install is there. So you can even go to upgrade, but we are going for the new install. So let us press next over there. So you can find that all the files are being founded and click on finish. So over here, we have to enter the username and password. So we have to enter admin as username and admin as password. So forced password change is there. So let us uh, give a new username and password. Yes, so now you can see that Cacti is being properly installed and we are logged in with the Cacti with the admin login account. So you can even click on devices. So because it is recently installed, so I cannot uh, provide you with any graphs, etc. So after some time, it will be showing us the graphs. So default tree is already there and you can edit any host. So new graphs are also there. So you can click on any create also and uh, you can even click on this graph for also and uh, various data sources are there. You can uh, find everything over here. So everything is being there into Cacti for good administration. You can click on this graphs also. But uh, we have to wait for some time because it is a new installation. So the graphs will be coming after some time. So in this video, I have shown you step by step deployment of Cacti on Ubuntu 16.04. So it's a very good web administration tool for network administrators and even for network security administrators and even for researchers on networking. So do give this a shot. So do install it. Do share with your friends. Do like this video. Thank you so much.